So welcome. So today we're going to take this picture of this eagle and turn this into sort of a screen print logo. And so this is just basically how you turn an image and sort of give it this effect. And so you can pretty much do this with any type of imagery. Um, the key here is just uh, one of the, uh, what's important is having some sort of strong contrast um, to make this work. Um, now there's all kinds of different ways to make selections and today I'll just do sort of a basic one um, Just because it's sort of a screen print. I think will be good So just a good general rule of thumb though. You don't really need to do this plus it solves the background issue here It's just a quick command J and we can turn this off because we don't need it So we're duplicating that that background layer in place. We need to quickly get back to it so the first thing we're going to do here is I only want the part of the head. I don't want the body. I just want the head. So we're going to come up here and just use the quick selection tool. And hopefully the quick selection tool likes all this wonderful contrast that we have in this image here. And it should do a pretty good job of easily selecting everything out. So that's a pretty good quick selection. So we're going to come up in here into select and mask and now we can see how nice of a job the uh, quick selection did. So we're going to use the hair, in this case feather, um, selection tool here. And so I'm just going to come down here to edge and turn on smart radius. And what we're going to do, and I've got sort of a large brush, it's almost as big as this green thing that I have here. Um, because I need to get over these bigger spots for it to recognize it. Um, I could try to do it smaller. I don't know how well it would work, but we'll make it a little bit smaller. And so I'm just refining the edge here under refine edge. And so I'm just painting over and saying, hey, these are the areas. I want you to look at it and look at the contrast difference. And I want you to select one part and deselect the other. So just following that edge. It's a little bit hard to see, I know, with green, but um, you can see it's doing a pretty good job. It's got a little bit of black there, a little bit of black there. Might have a little more trouble here. It's okay. We're going to be actually taking this image and turning it to black and white, so we should be good. So that looks pretty good. So we're going to take this selection and we're going to actually output to a new layer with a mask. So that's pretty important. And then we'll just go ahead and hit OK. And you can see, so here is our new selection. We've got a couple areas that are not perfect, but that should be OK. No big deal. So the next thing I'm going to do is come in here and make an adjustment layer. And I just want to kind of even this out. This some areas where they're a little bit dark and I want to lighten this area as well but we're gonna just make this a black and white adjustment layer and see if we can refine this to get it looking kind of how we want it be too much looks pretty good there that should lighten up some of those blue areas that we had and there's not going to be any magenta in this image now we're going to come in here and I'm just gonna see how these feathers are a little bit lighter and these are kind of a little mottled or, or flat and gray we're gonna fix that so we're gonna make a, a curves adjustment layer I'm just looking here even though it's brightening up that don't worry about that I'm just only interested in what it's doing right here because I'm gonna hit command I and invert this so what you're going to see here on this mask is this is going to turn black when I hit command I saying that I don't want it to be applied there. We're going to make this bigger. Whoops. Come over here, grab our brush. We want white. Command D to deselect that and then we'll just come in this area. It doesn't look good there. X cuz I don't want it there. Probably not there, just in this area. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna do this again. Just brighten that up some more. Hit that command I. I'm just trying to lighten these areas up here. 
I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to actually bring up the shadows, but not affect really the highlights. Command I again. And we are just going to come in here and you know, around. I'm just trying to lighten. I get the right thing up there. Lighten those areas up. And now I'm going to come in here and really increase the contrast a little bit. Hit Command I. I'm just going to accentuate this beak a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good there. So we can come over here to our layers. And we don't need all these layers uh, at this point. So what I'm going to do is this top one is selected here. I'm going to come down to the bottom layer, hold Shift and click and I'm gonna hit I'll just show you we're gonna to go to layer merge visible and make all those into one layer so now we just have this is one layer which is gonna be perfectly fine for us now we can move this layer a little bit give it some more room we're gonna actually put some text down there so we should be good all right so now that we have this image here, the next thing that we're going to do is I'm actually going to add some color to it. And the reason I'm doing it here is because we're going to do some effects as well to this image. And I want to see uh, the color. I don't want the color to mess that up. So we're going to come up here and make a curves adjustment layer. And I'm going to just drop down to blue. And we're going to simply add a little bit of blue. So you can see if it. We'll just do the blue. Come up here to. Meant to go to red. Change that blue. That's good. So we're just adding a little bit of blue into those shadow areas. And that looks pretty good. You can come in here and you could lower that opacity if you wanted to kind of narrow that down exactly where you wanted. So that's good enough. Um, and there's a million different ways that you could do this. You could split tone it, do a gradient map, um, whatever you want. We're just going to try that for now. And then once again, I'm going to hit Command E and blend that. And that's an important step. We want to those two layers to be get together. Because now we're going to come up here to Filter Gallery. And we're going to be adding some... Oop, let's go back. Let's turn this into a smart object. So I'm going to right click and go convert to smart object right click on a mouse if you don't have if you have a Mac mouse it's hold down control and click that's how to right click um, I personally hate the uh, Apple mice so I'm using Logitech so I can right click um, so we're gonna come up here now to filter gallery and we're gonna add two things we're gonna add a uh, film grain all right and so you can just slide these sliders around and uh, command minus will make this a little bit smaller and then you can change your highlighted area highlighted area um, you change your intensity so that's making it more contrasty um, I don't really want to do that in the noise function right here so we're gonna leave it like that so you can control that grain however you want to get it to exactly where you want it to look everybody's gonna have a different idea of what looks good and we're gonna hit OK and so now you can see we have a small smart filter so what's cool is you can easily turn this stuff on and off so that's kind of why I really like uh, using turning something to a smart object so then we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna go back to filter gallery and you could there's a couple different things we could do but I think we're gonna do torn edges first so we'll come down here to torn edges. All right, so I'm going to make my smoothness go all the way up. Um, I'm going to hit Command minus so I can see this bird. And I'm just trying to get a pretty good balance here. Of this image. All right, so you can see the invert it. So I'm gonna hit Command I. So now we can see what that looks like um, 
with it. And I think we've lost a little bit too much here. All right, back in here and torn edges. We want to go this way, this way with contrast. Let's try that. Ah, oh, yes, much better. So now we're getting much more detail here and much more detail here. So um, that looks a whole lot better. So. You only bad thing is you can see is it actually wiped out for some reason my color so I guess I'll have to go back and stick that in anyways even though I was hoping that would apply not sure so one of those torn edges must automatically convert it to a black and white oh, things you learn so no big deal so we've kind of got this image how I want it so I'm gonna, I guess gonna have to go back up here and create that sort of blue that we had before. If you wanted to split tone it, you could come over here and add a little yellow. Maybe a little teeny bit looks okay. All right, we'll go with that. A little teeny bit um, seems to look pretty good. So we're gonna come back over here to layers and I am going to now combine these two layers. All right, I'm gonna go back up to noise. So add noise. I want Gaussian. Amount much seems to look pretty good. All right, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and select this layer below this layer, and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to hit Shift Delete and add the color white. So what that's basically going to do is put this on a white layer which is exactly what we want. So um, now I'm gonna take this image here and because I don't want it, I want it to sort of look like a stamp, we're gonna actually lower the opacity so it's somewhat translucent and blends or shows through that image. All right, so now that when you zoom out, it seems, yeah, that's looking good. So we've kind of got that nice soft stamp texture look that we wanted and so the last thing you can do here to make this is we'll come down here and we will just give this some text so I'll call this give this a better color so we'll come in here and pick one of these colors so we'll call this Eagle Productions center doesn't want us there we go center yeah there we go I'm gonna take the eagle and I guess that's pretty close to being centered so we can come in here and adjust that as well so um, if you want to uh, do anything so we can take this in since we've kind of lowered the opacity on that I'm gonna actually come up here and lower the opacity a little bit of the Eagle productions and then if you want to come in here and add any effects to it you could do that as well so um, that is basically how you create sort of a screen printed stamp logo out of an image and give it some texture so hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.